The Toyota Concert Series on today, brought to you by Toyota. We are back now, and I have been looking forward to this for weeks. It's time for a special Throwback Thursday edition of our Toyota Summer Concert Series. For the first time in more than 12 years, Culture Club is heading out on tour, including this morning's stop on our plaza. But first, what made them one of the 80s most popular groups? It was a look and sound that defined a decade, launching Culture Club and Boy George into superstardom. When MTV comes around, you get these great British bands. So with Culture Club, you got great pop music, really catchy, catchy songs. Do you really want to hurt me? With their debut album, Kissing to be Clever, Culture Club achieved stunning success, scoring three top 10 US hits and earning a Grammy as best new artist. The band formed in 1981 and became known for both their musical ability and the look of their colorful frontman, Boy George. But despite their commercial success, fame came at a price, causing struggles within the band. Every band that works this hard together loves each other like this and then finds, you, you, you know what? Spending every waking hour together kind of gets on your nerves after a while. Although a lot of time has passed, it hasn't stopped the group from wanting to make more music. After more than 10 years apart, they've been hard at work in the studio, recording their new album, Tribes, set for release in early 2016. And how cool is this, singing Karma Chameleon, ladies and gentlemen, Culture Club.
We've got more music from Culture Club on a Thursday morning, but first, this is today on NBC. People who have been diagnosed. I should say welcome back to the plaza. You were here, you know, in 1984, right, Matt? Yes, absolutely. I wasn't here. I was just thinking, oh, my God, that's a long time ago. It's yep. scary. And now you guys are going back out on tour. Yeah, First yeah. time in 12 years. Is it like riding a bike? Well, now that we're on, now that we've done this, it just feels such weird deja vu. I just said to these guys, yeah, this is great. so weird because it's been such a long process to get to getting on stage and, and doing it. But we're looking forward to actually going out and playing to our fans. Back in the amazing. 1980s, could you imagine waking up at the crack of dawn to play? <laughs> only for, only no, for you guys. No, even my singing teacher says I don't sing before midday. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> only for you guys. Well, it's great to have you here. It's amazing. Yeah. Back in the 80s, did you guys realize the impact at the time you were having on popular music? I think it's something that you kind of learn later on because people come up to you and talk about how you know, you affected their lives in, in many ways. And I think Americans particularly, they're more sentimental than the Brits, so they don't mind telling you that. Brits are more cool, they're like, the nice thing. who, boy who? The nice thing for me is I do, I think people that grew up with culture card posters on their walls, I bet, you know, they have a great attitude. You know, they have a more open attitude to life. Can I say, I was one of those people. Okay, there you go. Boy George and Culture Club all over my walls as a teenage girl. Are you going to play for us now? We're we going to do Miss Me Blind, which was only ever released in America. Uh, Miss Me Blind. Well, you blind. wanted to say something. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say, I mean, the great thing is that we've, uh, you know, we're, we're four very individual guys. We've got an album, a new album coming out next year, which is a mixture of eclectic sounds and styles, it, just like us. And uh, I can't wait for it. He's a sales Exciting guy. Exciting time. Yeah. <laughs> well said, well said. Uh, he has an extra five grand for that. Yeah. <laughs> Culture Club. Thank you. Miss me. I know you miss me. I know you miss me, but I know you miss me. I know you miss me. I know you miss me, but I. I know you miss me. I know you miss me. I know you miss me. 
in a moment, but first, this is today on NBC. Take it's a throwback Thursday. We'll talk with Culture Club's legendary frontman, Boy George. Plus, Channing Tatum versus our own Ellie Kemper in an epic dance-off you won't want to miss. And the magic of Penn and Teller will perform a mind-bending card trick. All that and more coming up now. From NBC News, this is Today's Take with Al Roker, Natalie Morales, Willie Geist, and Tamron Hall. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Welcome to today on this Thursday morning. It's July the 2nd, 2015. A little bit extra big crowd out on our plaza this morning, and there's a good reason for that. Culture Club, uh, Culture Club Boy George in the building. Very good. Cool. How cool is that? Wow. Does that I take feel you back or what? I'm reliving my 80s all over again. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. a momentous occasion. So good. And, and they sound amazing. Yeah. They sound great. Boy yeah. George is going to sit down with us in just a few minutes, then they're going to give us one more song as well. So oh. we've got a big Boy George day coming Wonderful. up. Very exciting. I'm Willie. Along with Natalie, our special. This is a dream sequence you. for Ellie, right? This is everything. I am living a dream right now. Yeah. This, are you real? There it is. There you know, is it, was, you know it would come out. I mean, that's dream come true so, stuff right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. I, I, speaking of dream sequence, we have two legends here yes. in the house as well. Hard to believe it's been 40 years since the world was first introduced to these guys, Penn and Teller. Well, good. Hello. What better? Rock, and they've been our Throwback Thursday guests all morning long on the plaza. In a moment, we'll catch up with Boy George himself sitting at this very table. Yeah. That's oh. oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he's doing doing it. It. Putting us to shame. The pop and lock. All right, and new music we should mention as well. <laughs> okay. And we just took a selfie. I can die now. Yeah, much more with Culture Club after your local news. Thank you. The Toyota Concert Series on today, brought to you by Toyota. It's been a fun day around here. We've been celebrating Throwback Thursday with the Culture Club today as we kick off this holiday weekend. And they saved one of their biggest hits uh -huh. just for us so you can take a trip back to 1982. Oh. Here they are with Do You Really Want to Hurt Me? Take it away, guys. Give me time, love, to realize my crime. Yeah.
Today on NBC. Do you 